That's fine. It, it looks just good. Arms up by your side. You want to step up here for me? Right over here to the window for me. What's your first name? David. So why are you dressed as a clown? I'm just having fun for Halloween. Like, but it's not Halloween yet. It's the month. It's the spirit. You know, there's been a lot of issues with clowns in the news here lately. No, sir. So you hadn't watched the news where people are dressed as clowns and chasing after people? No, I, I know, but that wasn't my motive, you know? My motive was just walking around. You got clothes on under there? Yes, sir. You don't have any pockets with, like, rags tied together or chickens or nothing like that? <laughs> Maybe this one. No, Maybe I don't. Back. <laughs> Did y'all get a call on this guy? Yeah, he was over at uh, Walmart running at people in the parking lot. He was also up there at uh, Firehouse doing the same thing. So they called back in on him at Walmart. And then we get over to Walmart, and he's sitting there next to a shopping cart, all breathing hard. He's got some warrants. Well, a little mask. Nice. So I guess he wanted to get in on the Facebook trend. There was a guy in the parking lot that said he was about to run him over because he thought he was getting attacked. So, hey, you know you live in Texas, right? Yes, sir. Lots of guns. Yes, sir. Be careful. Hey, David, if you'll hop on up here for me. Go ahead and spread your feet for me. It's no laughing matter either. I need to take a couple pictures of you. So if you go step back over there by that wall, okay. and uh, take your mask and your hat. Yes, sir. Put it on for me. You know, if we get any more calls on him, we have our we have our visit that's been documented. We have pictures of him. So if we get any more suspicious calls or maybe potentially robberies with somebody matching this description, we have something to go back and look at in our database. Feet together, that's fine. It, it looks just good, man. All right. Arms by your side. Okay, I need your mask and also your little hat. If you take your shoes and socks off, turn your socks inside out and just hang on to them, okay? Thanks, sir. Take your right index finger, roll across that pad a couple times. That's good. Just press hard and roll once across that box. What's that? Yep, that's it. All right, David, good luck to you. Just step on through those doors, and uh, they'll get you taken care of. Put your hands on that wall for me, man. Uh, this if, wall? Yep, that black square right there. So you're just running up down the street just trying to get into the spirit of Halloween. This, sir. I got you. You just bought that uh, costume today? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, hours ago, the city of Amarillo said no clowning around tonight. <laughs> and you got a new Halloween costume. You'll be out before Halloween. Right. You got any fancy piercings or anything like that on your man? You know, we, we can laugh at this with all the clown hysteria that's going on, but it's the police's job to keep the public safe, and then our job, once the inmates come through here, to keep them safe. Grab your shoes and socks, David, and you'll come over here and just take a seat, OK? Yes, They'll start getting you booked in. We're in the middle of shift change. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, put people in harm's way, you know? You got you to gotta be careful, man. This is Texas. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to have a gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your friends were pretty adamant about getting you out, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Like I said, once they get here, pay you out. 15 minutes, I can get you out of here. Cool. You got other friends that dress up like clowns and are going to start walking around, or have they already been walking around? They've already been around. OK. I so, just joined the movement. Oh, you're joining? It's a, <laughs> so it's a movement. It's just friends from the Hunter house. All right, if you'll go over here and stand on the red line by my computer, we'll finish up. All right, man. If you'll sign right there. We'll get you some phone calls and see what your friends say, OK? All right. Thanks, man. What up? Check it out. I'm in here because of warrants, my dumbass, speeding tickets. There's no bell, like, no nothing. It's, it's tickets I have to pay. Five hundred and sixty-five dollars. Five sixty-five. It's five sixty-five. Yeah. I don't know. If y'all get me out, I'm gonna pay y'all back, like somehow, like or pay the loan, whatever y'all get. Figure it out, man. Figure it out. All right. Bye. They're, they're gonna try to um, get me out, like by the morning. Okay. We'll go ahead and change you out in just a little bit, yeah. and we're gonna have to house you with some other inmates then. Okay. Right. Hey, Deputy Brush. Yeah. Can you go ahead and. Uh, Take him down to be housed? Yeah, I can do that. 
Okay. You just head this way, man. David probably should have took care of his tickets before he decided to dress into a clown costume and draw attention to himself. If his friends can't come up with the bail and get him out, he's probably going to be sitting here for a little over a week or so. Hopefully, in the future, he'll learn from his mistakes and take care of his business before he has any fun. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my kids. I don't want to be alone.